Hello, people. And welcome to this guy's the most interesting. This is gonna be the most interesting thing because I've never ever heard this one. And two, like it's supposed to be really really sad. It's so, all depends on how I do do well. So let's get the going. <laughs> the Gmail log. The choice of Stein's game. Okay, I got something out of it. So start it. すべてが偶然だ。ただ調べるのだ。それぐらいの心情性が求められているのだということを理解しろ。考えても見るがいい。普段の人間の近くは 99% みてみぬふりをするなと。もっと注意を払えと。星にもまた始まりはあるが、自らの力を持って滅びる。幽霊。英知を持つ者こそ最も愚かであるが、歴史からも あらがえるものたちの There's no separate focus, but right here, only silence. So just jump into it. I am baking in the summer sun. Sweat slowly slides down my chin and drips onto the ass. A girl standing in front of me. She calls her name with an inclusive tilt of her head. We are about to infiltrate deep into enemy territory, yet despite the imminent risk of death, there is no hint of tension of her innocent childlike features. I cover my phone's mouthpiece and turn to the girl with an index finger to my left. I nod and put my phone back to my ear. Still, no sound from the other side. My contact is wise to make the sound. The poor area could be bugged. Yeah, this is the problem. The problem is that I'm going to 
still no reply. Looks like they just want my report. It's too dangerous to waste time talking here anyway. I'll look it up later. I open my eyes wide to match my shock tone. Interesting. The girl turns towards me in surprise. I sigh, shaking my head as I rub my temples. I speak the parting word, then pocket my cell phone. Stein's gate, some know it as fate to others. It is the world of God. You count on one hand, the people in this world are aware of its true nature. In any case, you should begin the infiltration. Or we should. I have asked you ready. We are just across the street from the train station. Do that goes. Of course, this is in charge. You can't just stride through the front door like an average person. I bypass the elevator's escalator and head to the eighth floor by the stairway. But I only make it to the seventh floor before I have to stop. Walking eight floors is not that easy when you think about it. The girl, Shina Mariuri, really resumes her our conversation. She followed me all the way here, and she isn't even short of breath. I, on the hand, and gasp for air with my hands on my knees. Who would have thought an eight-story building would be so tall? Which is eight, eight stories is pretty high. I turn to Mari while wiping the sweat off my brow. What? Mario smiles happily and doesn't cry any further. As always, she is quick to understand my position. We've known each other since we were born, both little. Mario is 16, two years younger than me, so she's more like a little sister than a typical childhood friend. I've been looking out for her as long as I can remember. I used to hope that Mari might become the key to Stein's gate, but now, now I've reconsidered. I don't want that terrible fate for me. You should live a normal life. This is my present wish. We continue to the 8th story and enter the assembly hall. In front of us stands a cheap looking stage with a podium and a sign reading Dr. Nakabati's Time Machine Press Conference. Mario insists on calling me Okara. But it's neither my real name nor my code name. It's just one of those annoying nicknames people have use. Well, people use or have whatever. Mayuri no. It's my dear daro. Or no koto okarin to yobunato. Demo no kashkara so yon deta yo. So ra mukashi no hanashida. Ima no ore wa. Hoin kyoma. Is 
かしくて覚えられないし。かえって、中年。In any case, I really call it Iwama as my true name. それに、岡部凛太郎と一文字も合ってないよ。おかしいね。Your foolish laughter. Welcome, Rachel. Maybe my real name, but I have rejected it for it is stupid. Stupid. That's why I also hate the do creation o c c u r r e n c e Come on, it sounds like an elf voice blue pipe thing. And one year and out the other. Oh. He's been calling me that for five years now, so maybe it's time to give up. She nods without drip, dropping her smile. Much, I swear. Kore kara koko de hajimaru no. Doctor Nakabachi no kisha kaiken da. We're standing in the assembly hall on the eighth floor of Radi Khan. It is here that the conference will be held. Dr. Nakabachi is an inventor. He appears on TV from time to time and has a few patients under his belt. But mostly, he is treated as a curiosity. Mario's right. I've scanned the entire hub, but there's no one who looks like a reputable reporter or a cameraman. There are only about 10 of us standing in the hall, including me. Considering that c a b a i t s Modern media presence and the fact that he claims to be a, have been to a time machine. I would have expected more. I twist my lip into a sneer. I thought that Nakabaki was like me, a scientist trying to overthrow the organization. But this press conference suggests other motives at work. Our enemies won't miss this chance. Nevertheless, I'm interested in what you have to say. That's why I'm here. Blowing an afternoon of my precious summer holiday. Mary ponders my utterance for a while, finally turning his head. Like a pink button. This way, way. I let that aside. Mari is known not only to make bad jokes, but to laugh at them too. She's always been special. Mayuri, you s c a r e I didn't even finish my sentence. Are we under attack? Are they trying to fry our bridge with the electrical magnetic waves? Dust falls from the ceiling as the floor shakes. We were definitely under attack. It's c o m i n g from above. We're all on the top floor. All that's above is the roof. Oh, shoot. No. No time to deal with Maru's confusion. Something's not right about this. It was a trap! I pulled out of the conference room and ran up the stairs to the roof, ignoring the no trespassing signs in my way. 
What was that? Door is open. Upon closer inspection, I realized that the lock has been broken. Open the door and see a bellowing cloud of black smoke. Grab the graphics! Oh my gosh! There's some kind of phosphorescent dust sparkling in the air. I can't believe it. Was there really an explosion? My heart is racing. Damn, I don't know what to do. Should I run away? But why an explosion? Terrorists? No, that doesn't fit. I mean, how do you explain that? A strange machine is sitting in the middle of the roof. It's huge, maybe 3 meters tall. It looks kind of like a satellite. Did that thing cause the shaking just now? Who put it here? Was it Dr. Nakabachi? This is part of his presentation. Impossible. Even if that were the case, how the hell would he get it up here? My head is bursting with questions. As I search for courage to a first machine, a throwing reports and building staff burst onto the rooftop. They look just as confused as I am. And then a woman, I assume is a staff member, appears to wave with fat. Is she trying to hide something? Her response was unusually quick, almost like she's trying to get away from that device. I want to know, but I shouldn't risk any getting any closer. I turn to leave, but not because I'm scared or anything like that. That first lead us all back all of us back to the 8th floor. Where is no one can see? the event either. Find out the sun floor. Why? Several capsule toy machines are lined up next to the place in the very place of the Japanese PC. She's gazing upon them with a wistful look. I breathe it silently, then take out my phone. I just speak the words and hang up. I am able to watch the sport from my forehead. What the heck? My sweat is cold. Have me hope something will happen. The other half hears the same thing. I put away my phone and I look back at Fire. She's still staring at those capital points. She doesn't seem to be worried about the explosion at all. I can't decide if she's level headed or just air. Oh boy. Just as I thought. Mari points to the capsule switching. Sign on the front says, Rain and Takur, duty character doll series. Rain and Takur is a popular anime series with its own card game spin off, Real Net Assessor Battles, Battle, and even called International Tournaments. Lupa is the series mascot. It resembles an epileptic egg, lipstick, like some kind of deformed dog. It's what they call an ugly, cute character. High school girls find these characters adorable for some reason. Last year, an ugly frog character was arranged. His name is Skate, though. Don't worry, I'll come back. Very good at a troubled smile. Mayushi is what Mario calls himself. The 
according to her, it's supposed to have a star at the end. Why are you actually a star? <laughs> but who really cares? She holds her hands out like a freaking puppy. Like, looks like she's playing this from the very beginning. Well, at least she didn't say give me. <laughs> Aww, that's uh, uh, I pulled a hundred yen coin, set it into the machine slot, and spin the lever. I open the capsule and take out the contents. Her leans forward eagerly to see what I got. Well, I examined the metal of Upa, a boy who was watching us surprised us look on the same brain as his machine. It looks at my metal Upa and resent me. I turn to see Mari's sparkling eyes also fixed on the Upa. Hey, high school girl. You're acting like a little kid. Honestly, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> Is she doing it on purpose? Honjitsua, Doctor Nakabashi Nioru, Time Machine, Hatsme Seiko, Kinen Kaiken Yoas Maritaki, Makotoni Arigato Gozaimas. Crap, I gotta go. <laughs> I hear the adjustment from the floor above. Do you have a Hajima Yodana? I head to the stairs. Bavari doesn't follow. She preoccupied with the metal Uba, I go on ahead. So that tells me she's gonna get messy. There was like 10 people there. <laughs> Dr. Nakami enters into sparse applause. He walks up to the podium. He's already wearing a frown. For some reason, I can feel his irritation from him. Dr. Nakabachi da. Dozo yoroshiku. His work is so casual. Nakabachi takes a microphone and begins to speak. His voice Burming with confidence. Time machine Nakabachi introduces himself. Wait, what did she think of time machine presentation was about? There we go. I take another look around the room. There are about 20 people now, but there's still no media presence to speak of. So this is the extent of Dr. Nakabachi's fame. No one believes that he invented the time machine. I was interested in what he had to say, too, but my expectations were no higher than the rest of the audience. And a good thing they did warn me. As he proceeded to explain his time machine design, my curiosity quickly turns to disappointment, then anger. My <laughs> <laughs> roar silence is not about to endorse the eye of every person in the room. <laughs> 
俺が誰なのかはどうでもいいそれより今あなたが語ったタイムマシンの理論は一体何だジョン・タイターのパクリではないかあなたはそれでも発明家か誰かその男をつまみ出せ出ていくのはあなただドクターカジオスレこの人材あなたには発明家を名乗る資格はないぞうさい黙れ Just as some guys my arm behind me. Try to convince this official to throw me out. I try not to clear him down. <laughs> It's a girl from about my age. Her intense stare seems to challenge me. I take a step back. Her face looks somehow familiar. Where have I seen her before? We haven't met, but I know her face. It's Makos Perossi. Am I saying that right? Makis Perussi. Or、uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. A few days ago, my friend Daru showed me a magazine article titled Girl Genius Kids Lecture in Akinahabara. The article was about a 17 year old girl who had just graduated from American University. Her thesis was even published in a major scientific. Journal. Girl genius, Marcus Caruso. I recognize the stubborn looking girl from photographs. She's even wearing the exact same smile. What business could such a genius have with me? She takes a quick look around and then turns back to me with a stern expression. What's with the attitude? She's obviously not staff, and there's no way that Dr. Makus Kurusu would be working with someone like Dr. Nakabachi. Which means, no. <laughs> Do wait, did I know? <laughs> My efforts have already attracted too much attention. Nagabachi in particular looks like he wants to rip my head off. It must be more fun to be exposed and surprised by a bright young man like himself. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is too good. This is hilarious. Anyway, I must enjoy, must enjoy any more attention to herself. The organization gets one more person here. It could endanger Marui. Say nothing of these things. I left Marcus Perusu. I let Marcus Perusu lead me out of the summer. ここで俺に何かすれば人目につくぞ。そうなれば貴様もいろいろまずいだろう。何かって何ですか？人聞きの悪い。You close them. Quite fiercely at that. Attractive though she may be, there's innocence in her eyes. A beautiful agent, unmatched and cold. My heart beats in acceleration from the game. Looks like Chaos really does get my blood pumped. Heh, heh, heh. Heh. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to answer that. ここは。<笑>クリスさんにスナッチしてフォークマン。What skill? I didn't have time to react. Wow! な何をする？あれ？この携帯電源切れてる。<笑>誰と話していたんですか？ Her eyes pierce deep into my soul. I quickly. She's good. Is she trying to attack my sense of identity? 
It's going to cause a mental break. I'm kind of scared now. <laughs> really, really scared. <laughs> What's going to happen? Recover. This isn't enough to sway me. So so bad at acting. Such measures are necessary to make things interesting. I know things that could get me so. I quickly retrieved my phone and wiped the cold sweat off my head. Phew, that was a close one. <laughs> this is bad. Ordinary methods don't work on my fingers. On the contrary, she was almost psyching me out. Yeah, I think I have to make a test for me. If I could just find an opening. Suddenly, Cruz steps up to me with serious expression. She stares right at me, her huge eyes blazing with strength as well. Such fire! I can't look away! Oh my gosh, my eyes! Because <laughs> someone with such pure eyes would really be an organized organization. Saki. Earlier, さっきとはいつのことだ。ほんの15分くらい前、会見が始まる前に。ですね。This this is a trap. It does seem like one of the organization's big tricks. But would this girl do anything something that underhanded? Wait, but that's not me though. Confused, like something's off. This is really weird. He seems to see her. That makes him even more suspicious. That's right, let her beauty fool you. It's a cold calculating secret agent. Right sure the slightest point of birthday, I'm done for. I'm a bad scientist, you I spin around and take off down the stairs in order for the car to stop. I listen to the end. I don't think she's the end. I think he's confused as a freaking bolt. Yeah, after that, I think I'll call it the end of the episode. Episode one. It just doesn't seem like it doesn't seem kind of fair of how this game goes. But I guess like for for a beginning idea, this is gonna take a while to understand what's going on. So this is gonna be it for episode one, part one. I'll talk and uh just. Do whatever it feels like it takes time to take. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.